what's up? This is Wicked Threads. What up? Michael Lawless here, part of hey. the Crust Gang. And this is Crust Cast Conversations, episode one out of a billion. That's right. Uh, first episode, that we're gonna have G. we're gonna have Smokey the Bear. He'll be in here soon, and we're gonna uh, basically hit this off with a straight interview and get in this motherfucker's head. And so, if you don't Ask know this artist question. yet, exactly. If you don't know this artist yet, you will know by the end of this fucking interview. So definitely. If you have also any uh, questions for the future of maybe this artist, um, in the comments below, definitely leave something because this is going to be a weekly thing that we air on YouTube, and this is going to be a weekly thing that we do. So if you are an artist or you know an artist who would like to be tap into this shit, we're we're open for availabilities. This is, we're going to do a uh, um this shit until it busts, and we ain't going to bust because we out we out for the shit. <laughs> we have so much shit going on. <laughs> so much shit going on. You know, yeah. we'll let them know if they don't already know. March 18th and at, at Carl's Tavern in New Haven, Indiana. It's going down for the first Crust Kang, the Crust Cast Banger. The uh, lineup is in fucking sane. And, uh, you, if you're in the area or you're not in the area, you need to pull up to that shit. Shit's about to be lit, and here it is right here. Boom. Look at that lineup, man. We got the homie Cody Manson fucking headlining. Then right before Cody, we got the motherfucking wickedest of the wickeds, Wicked Woods. Up in the fucking house, man. If you don't know who you, if you don't know who they are by now, you are like you're sleeping then you got me and then after i'm done or before well then right before me you have the man that's going to be on tonight that you were going to learn all the dirt and grime on you know the man smoky the bear yeah he is a very very talented new artist on the scene right now he's going to tell you all about his stuff you know um so definitely be you're definitely going to be looking out for the man in the scene, but you need to pull up for them. We we also got HB the Grizzly, who you all have probably seen on ICP's Patreon. Man, she chopped it up there that one night. We got Trauma Too Sick. He's just straight homie, man. Fucking then one of my one of my fucking fa I love this homie so much, man. The man Worm. He's going to be on their fucking shit up. And then right before him is the other fucking piece to the Triple C fucking cross cast gang. The man from the woods in the hoods. <laughs> in the woods. You know what I'm saying? From the hoods in the woods. Two boots, man. He's going to come and fucking drop some shit. Then we got Bullock. Killer D and my close friend Psycho Psychedelic Psychopaths. Plus, the Jekyll sisters are going to be there fucking doing announcements. We're going to have raffles. It's 21 up. Bring ID. You know what I'm saying? I don't want nobody left out. If you look, bring ID or bring, bring ID. fake ID. Yeah. Just fucking bring something, that, you know, so you can get in. Fucking uh, it's going to be something you're not going to want to miss. For sure. You know? And I'll tell you a secret that I will announce right now that hasn't been announced anywhere. I have a double single that me and my boy fucking just finished. It's being mixed and mastered right now. And I'm playing the tracks at this show, man. So you, if you come to this show, you will get to hear two brand new. And these are, I mean, these are bangers, man. And I'll even tell you the name. It's going to be in a little a two song single called tracks to trap to you're gonna you'll trust me it's the most i think it's the most fire thing we've ever recorded yet so i man there's so much energy in the scene right now especially in our camp and in everybody else's you know it's gonna be fire yeah we have this it's crazy um we're uh trying to get all the uh crest cast artists on stages we're trying to get official uh events thrown we're, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be out there selling merchandise. 
it's eventually it's, we're going to start doing cross cast tours and shit like that. We're going to start doing smaller runs that'll start uh, building into things as soon as, as, you know, the more official things get. But that's if, if you guys are wondering, that's where things are going. We're going full official. We're here and we're going to bring you all the sh- all the real shit, the real grime, man, from the street shit. You know, fucking uh, some non-biased shit where we can bring just any homie on that's, you know what I mean, that's just grime and we, you know what I mean? So you can, you can hear all the fresh shit. We have so many incredible artists in the scene, you know, that um, are doing fucking wild shit like Smokey the Bear and his new album that I'm sure he's going to fucking, or his little EP that he put out. Uh, just recently and uh, I, I'm not going to say too much about it because he's going to, I want him to, but it's fucking fire. It's fucking fire. I'm, I think it's fire, but we'll let you guys decide and it's stuff like that. But I'm proud of the homie, man. I think he did a fucking wonderful job on this. Yeah, he should you be know. here any any minute. He just yeah. got off of work. He's twisting up a blunt, and he's about to jump on this uh, conversation. Good, 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 man. Good. It'll be cool to it'll be cool to chop it up with him, man. I can't wait. We're all, man. We're gonna have a blast on the fucking eighteenth, man. That shit is gonna be lit. Fucking, we have so many things, man. So many things. Merch game is getting ready to be out of control. Oh, it's definitely about to be out. If you don't know already, man, you can go on there on onto the onto the Wicked Threads site, the 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 official website, and you can find all my merch. That is where all my merch is officially being sold. Also, you can find all of Two Boots merch on there, and then you can find the many, many, many things that Wicked Threads has put out. Man, it's like the IKEA. For fucking juggalo shit, dude. It's the freshest shit. He's got shoes. He's got shower curtains. He's got freaking mats. He's got anything wicked thread, cross cast related, man. You can get it and it's all fucking fresh. Even beer fucking steins, man. Oh, I know, dude. That shit's so fucking dope, dude. Fucking lit, dude. You know what I mean? You need to get one of those motherfuckers and and show up at the gathering and fill that shit with like a big frothy ass whoop dub, man, and just like fucking go hard. Yeah, there's the link right below. That is what I'm talking about. Go buy my shit. Help me help support us, man, because it all goes it goes back in, man. You know what I mean? We've got stuff for really good prices. I've got brand new hoodies up there, man. You know, they got I, I they got. I'm trying to see. I think I got it over here. I can show you in like one second. Here we go. Look, these things are fucking fresh, dude. Let me just tell you something, man. You you got to You're sleeping. You're like, dude, 60 bucks, dude. You know what I mean? This is the, the hoodie. Got the lawless. I know my lightning lighting right now isn't the greatest, man. But look, it's got the lawless logo on the front, man. You got down the sleeves. Look at this. You know what that is already? Them running coons. Boy, we got three of them running down there. That Wicked Thread collab. Then I took my my fucking logo, my, my fucking coffin logo, and I put the coon in it, man. And boom, look on the back. Crust motherfucking cast in the back. Hey. Then it's got, look, this shit fires. I know it's hard to see. I'm trying to make it better. It's so there lit. we go. There it's we so go. Lit. You know what I mean? Look, it's this so shit's lit. on fire, dude. Go get this. If you don't want a hoodie, I got t-shirts. If you don't want a fucking t-shirt, look, man, I got playing cards, man. Everyone plays. You can get some playing cards on there for me. If you don't want any of that, I have some dope lawless flags up there that you can find, man. Really cool. Like, really cool. Like, banner flags. These boys are big, man. They're big flags, and they're hella worth the money, dude. Super nice made. I'm not even trying. I was surprised at the quality. I could sit here and I'm sit here and tell you all day, man, how much I rep my shit, man. We got jerseys. Look, look at this homie's jersey. He got up, man. I got this bad boy too. Go get yourself uh, this shit, man. If this you you can't do fifty bucks, dude. It's like fucking you. 
How can't you? On the sleeves and shit? This Big motherfucker fit right, dude. You got a big Big ass raccoon. Man. <laughs> you know what I mean? Look, look, and that's not even it. You know what I mean? All the merch on there. Come on. Go up on there, man. I ain't trying to turn this into some like QVC shit, man. But like, look, go up on there. And I know there's something that you probably need in your life, man. You're like, shit, I need a new pair of shoes. But they're all so expensive to get the cool ones. Wait, no, they're not. You can get a fucking some of the freshest ass shit shoes and whatnot on, on our site, man, from like, you know, the fucking like legit affordable price. You know what I mean? You know, you can get them kicks. You can get whatever. Dude, we I'm trying to make the nest literally the shop, the shop of the motherfucking of shop. Oh, shit. We got Smokey in the it's back. Time. I'm about to pull Smokey in and uh, we're going to kick this motherfucker off proper. Hey. Hey. What up, motherfuckers? What up? What's up, bro? Shit, what the hell you doing, man? That work life. Fucking yeah. Rolling them burritos and shit, you know. Hey. Oh, shit, man. Where oh, you work yeah. at? Uh, I just got a job managing Taco Bell. Oh, well, man. Hell yeah, man. That's know, mother- motherfuckers That's- try to say you can't get jobs with face tags, but bro, look at me. What you mean? Yeah, you want to speak to the manager? Say, the motherfucker manager right here, bro. Right? I'm a manager right here. What, how did we fuck up your tacos? Because I don't get right. right. Bitch, that, had your, had your company heard your fucking your newest release yet, man? <laughs> you said what? I said, did you work here your newest release yet? No, no, not yet. Oh, they, <laughs> about, they, they about to hear about all the smoke. Trust me, they about to get all that smoke. <laughs> yes, I'm man, that's some hella smoke on the fucking Bluetooth. Get smoke, bitch. You know, yeah. <laughs> right? Yo, that new your new album, your new your new EP is fire. I'm uh, like on it. I bought bro. that shit. I bought that shit immediately, homie. So I bought that shit off of Amazon Music. Hell so, yeah. Hate that. so for everyone that knows, where can you find that? Where can you find your album? Uh, it is right now. It is on all platforms. Here in a few weeks, I'm gonna release physical copies, so you'll be able to actually order the physical CD. Right. So that's you gonna can, be great. You can grab that shit up and then come see the man in concert and get him to throw that fucking signature on that boy and officialize oh, yeah. that thing. Get a picture yes, of me, you know, you get this fucking signed autograph CD. Like, real shit. All right. Well, we got a bunch of questions for you. Uh, yeah. We got a hell of a bunch of questions. So just feel free to, you know, open up a little, let these motherfuckers right. know. So, All Lawrence, right, man. you want to kick him off with a question? Sure, I'll kick you off mm-hmm. with a question, man. Uh, what what brought you into music, man? That's one of the questions that everybody <laughs> wants to ask. Music? Well, or, since I was like 12 years old, dude, I fucking, I used to watch my dad like rock stages and metal bands and shit. Like, he's done that shit my whole life. And, um, you know, I used to watch them do that shit, and then, you know, I used to listen to my favorite artists, and I just always dreamed in my head, like, what it would be like to be on that stage, getting everyone fucking moving, getting everyone fucking bobbing their heads. And then fucking about a year and a half ago, I just started doing my thing finally, you know what I mean? I took a bunch of Lucy, and that shit got me over my anxiety of rapping in front of people. <laughs> I took a bunch of Lucy and just started going ham. <laughs> right. Yeah, man. Well, whatever, whatever you did, whatever concoction of chemicals cleaned out that nervousness from you, man. It, it did it well. Hell yeah, that's man. It. I've been seeing, I've been seeing video of you uh, playing <laughs> with, playing out with Cody and stuff. How about you tell everybody a little about the two of you? I'm not. Well, hold on. It's a, it's backwards for me. I'm trying to point you. Both of you are both trife life. So. Tell us a little bit about, like, you know, what you do and, and the people you, you, you've you normally been seen with, man, your homies. Uh, Tribe Life, yeah. Um, I actually met Cody back uh, Devil's Night a few years ago at Simon's in Detroit. Well, Allen Park, technically. And um, my first show I did was actually his record release show for Psychoactive. And, mm. um, you know, I ended up hopping on that. And we just, we've been tight since, you know what I mean? Like, 
most of my shows in the beginning was like with Trifly, with Cody and shit. Like went to Gore Fest with them. I did uh, the Manson Family tour and shit with them last year, as y'all know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I seen pictures of it. um, I think the last three dates of the Young Snuff tour. So I'll be seeing you on that, Lawless. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm excited. I'll be on that whole tour. For all y'all that don't know, I will be from the 15th to the 23rd, right? Yep. That that whole tour goes. I will be on that whole tour, so yep, you'll be I, expecting me. I, I'll be on like the last three. I think it's Traverse City, Columbus, and Cleveland. I'm gonna be on. Yeah, yeah. I can't wait to. I can't wait to to freaking do that run, man. That's gonna be a lot of fun, dude. It's yeah, gonna that's be gonna be a sick ass tour, dude. It's uh, yeah, they, it starts uh the 18th to oh. the 24th. 18th to 24th. Yeah, for the young snuff. Oh, so I'm wrong. Excuse me. 18th to the 24th. Yeah, it's uh the 18th is open, I, I think, and then it's the 24th. Oh, wait, I know what it, I bet you they're just because everyone knows I'm a fly in, so they told me. <laughs> but you said Getting you're there a little early. Traverse City? Yeah, I'm going to be in Traverse City and then the Kenosha? two after that one. The Kenosha and Gary, Indiana? Yep. No. That's dope. That's the one dope. before that? I don't know. I, they're the Ohio ones. Whatever ones Cody was talking about the other day. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, it's uh, Ohio. There's Toledo and then Akron. Yeah, Tol- no, it's not Akron. It's Toledo and then, I don't know, Columbus, I think, is one of them. <laughs> but I'm going to be there. <laughs> That's yeah. what I say. They're like, people are like, where are you going to be? I'm like, I don't know, but well, I'll be on the, the whole date. thing. I got, a, I got the dates and places right now, right here. Oh, wait, then let's fire it up, man. That's let, what I said. Let people know. Uh, 418, it's open. 419, it's Akron, Akron, Ohio. 420, it's going to be Toledo, Ohio. 421, it's going to be Traverse City, Michigan. 422, it's going to be Kenosha, Wisconsin. 423, it's going to be Gary, Indiana. 424, it's going to be Cleveland, Ohio. That is the first leg of the Young Snuff Tour. You'll be seeing all three of us right now in different ways of maybe more than others. We are all going to be in that bitch like it ain't shit. I promise you, we're going to be... Doing all the shits in there. All the uh, shit. All so the shit. So come do man. some fucking gang shit with us, bro. Yeah. Like real yeah. shit. It's real gonna be shit. a sick ass tour. I'm glad that I'm about to be a part of this shit. Hey, right? Smokey, what is what is your uh biggest um okay, yeah. what was your what was your biggest inspiration um to music like then, like before you started to make music? To now, like, what is your biggest inspiration now that keeps you um, pumping? You know what I'm saying? Uh, the thing, biggest thing that inspires me is, man, growing up, fucking almost to the point where I'm at now, man, I've done nothing but struggle. Life has not been the best for me. And what inspires me is just making my life better, evolving to where I want to be, achieving my goals, my dreams, making sure my wife and my kids get there with me. We're all fucking happy. Like, I feel that. Mainly my family and just knowing I've had a shitty past is what inspires me. Is I'm trying to make something great out of this. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I feel that. I think that's one of the special things that got me and uh, Coon together, man, is the fact that we're both street kids. You know what I'm saying? Like, we're both. I've been a street punk kid, man, since like I was like, since I was like 15, 14, I think. I think, like, you know what I mean? Like, we all been through the ringer and shit like that, man. And it's like, we're all like, I think we're all like at the very same moment, like part of a really big movement of like the street, like the thuggalos, like, like movement. You know what I mean? Like it really is like the (laughs) thuggalo movement where the street, like the gutter kids are fucking popping up and like, we're popping up hard. And it's like, a there's a lot of us, you know, you know, but, but I think we're at the center of it, man. You know what I mean? There's a there's a lot of good people that we're we're all in contact with and friends with. Yeah. You know, hey, bro, we're the cool. future of this underground shit too. You know what I mean? Yeah. Well, I, we're trying to be. You know what I mean? I hope so. I hope yeah. that you know. I believe in it. I believe in you, dude. I believe, I believe you know, in. I believe our, in Coon our and everybody. Off. Yeah. Uh, I tell you what. Here, here's a question for you, homie. Whatever. Like, uh, what's something in, in, in music that you fully hope to accomplish, man? Like, 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 where are you trying to take things? You know what I mean? Like, just a music goal? 
Yeah, yeah. What's a, what's one of your what's one of your music goals? Like something it can be something it doesn't have to be deep into like something you want to um, see happen, like that you're like really that where you know you feel like you've officially like uh you feel the the, the crowd fucking is there like super hard for you, man. Like Well, like I would like to play the main stage of the gathering. Like I played the second stage last year, but I want the mm-hmm. actual main stage, you know what I mean? Like mm-hmm. I wanna make that stage my motherfucking bitch. I think you deserve it, dude. I think you and deserve then, it. I want to play in Cali. Like, I've been to Cali, but Cali is one of my favorite places to be. And to just play a fucking nice ass venue in Cali one day, just fucking, right. you know what I mean? Not, dude, I'm down with you. I'm down with you. I would love to hit the West Coast and stuff. I've got a lot of friends out there. You know, there's, there's part of we got a lot. We all have a lot of friends out there. It'd be dope to be able to see that man, to see everyone. Yeah, I've only been out there once. I went for a J Day. Back before the COVID shit hit, mm-hmm. which that was shit was sick. You know, seeing ICP in the middle of fucking LA, you're like, people are right. walking by seeing Fago shooting in the sky. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> yeah. like, what? Hell yeah. Down. Right. God damn. Right. Juggalos and their Fago popping tricks. Right. Goddamn yeah. jugglers. That's Juggling crazy. them Fago models and shit. How do they do that shit? Goddamn <laughs> gigolos. How does, how does Fago gigolos. even work? Mm-hmm. You know, Fago. How does it work? How does it work? How does fucking Fago work, man? Hey, uh, Smokey. What up? You uh, uh, you got um, any uh, any uh, uh, any music that you want to like? Basically, any uh, releases that you recently have released that you want to tap in, or anything that you have to upcoming that you want to tap in and let everybody know <laughs> what to expect or. Anything that you want to promote? Right? <coughs> yeah, I'm dying. One second. You're good, bro. Fucking dead. Well, I got rip, a fucking rip. music video coming out next week for uh, Blabbermouth, the uh, main track on my fucking EP. Well, the self-titled track, I should say. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I got yeah. that coming out. And then <coughs> my next project, I'm finna start... Uh, Advertising and releasing soon for Big Lit Pimp Shit. It's my second full length album. It's gonna be a fucking banger. Oh, I'm sure any of y'all who've seen me live, if you've heard the song Big Lit, that's gonna be the first official single on that when it actually comes into play. I got a whole plan for that. So that shit, you don't wanna miss that shit because I fucking, that shit's gas, bro. Yeah, yeah, like, um, <laughs> Mix and mastered all by my boy Trey Pound. I'm sure y'all know Trey Pound. Like right, oh, fucking Trey Pound, motherfucking okay. wizard with that shit. I swear, that shit's so gas. Uh, somebody wants to come in and say hi, man. He's been out working. You gotta lean down, dude. You're all tall, which up, is my homie? my boy. Also, my drummer. <laughs> if you guys yeah. don't know him. My fucking uh, stepson plays drums for me, man. So all the stuff that we have and that you hear, all that stuff is it's real drums and shit. So like he is uh my backbone, as you'd say, man, and stuff. He came in, he wanted to say hi to everyone, he supports everybody. Cross gang? Fucking yeah, cross gang, dude. One hundred percent cross gang shit. Yeah, yeah. So uh another question. Uh, you got merch? Where do people go to get your merch, bro? Yeah, merch, where? That is the one thing I am lacking on. Merch, I plan on actually getting some shit ordered here within the next few weeks once I get paid. But I will oh. have merch coming out. I got some sick-ass designs ready to go. You gotta get some so, merch, bro. Yeah, we gotta get some tees out of you, man, at least. I wanna get some something that I... I, I have some I'll shirts. rock that shit, homie. Get I had some shirts shit. months ago, but... It's it's been a minute, you know, life and shit. Oh, dude, trust me, man. If it oh, look, yeah. I let you know. I feel you, dude. My homie here, <laughs> dude. Th- this is, I love this motherfucker. He surprised me, man, because I've had so much. I've got so much shit going out between like with with my family and and like everything and just in my regular life. Then plus, I just went in the studio and just recorded my new little single. I'm about to drop real soon called oh, track yeah. to trap to and then um you know i i was just like and he was on tour 
with uh cody and stuff and I, I don't know if you were there or not man i know you were at some of them right he was out he was out a lot of the shows yeah uh, i was kind of you were at the some tour of them. last year no but dude about the ouija tour we just did i didn't okay. want to bug him too much and i was like shit i need to put in a fucking i need to put in an order for clothing you know what i mean and i was like mm. i was kind of like so tight on cash because i'd i'd you know everything had it hit me with everything and fucking uh my homie went in behind my back and ordered a whole freaking like thing, like fronted me real quick, man, and hooked a homie up, man. I'd been stressing about that shit. I was afraid I was gonna go on tour for the Young Snuff tour and have nothing. Yeah, I you know I I can help you out, Smokey, when it comes to you know if you're trying to get merch and shit. Um, yeah, the um, main thing I need for merch is I need someone to print shirts. Well, I'm about to start a uh, printing. I'm about to start a. A thing where I help artists out, and I'm gonna call it, I'm gonna call it nocturnal printing, and mm -hmm. start basically printing, start doing helping people out. So basically, like if you want me to print out your shirts and shit, I'll print. I can get your design. And I'll I'll start printing out shirts, even if you just want like, uh, just like a quick like, a stack of shirts, nothing tremendously crazy, just to get you know. Also, if you look, bro, I can do more than shirts, bro. We're doing hella shit. If you look at the site, there's so much shit I can, you know, yeah, yeah. help you bring. Yeah, shit's you know fire right now, dude. Yeah, I've got all kinds of shit that's getting ready to come out that's new too, man. We're working on all kinds of new ideas and stuff for a whole new line of merch of mine. I'm just kind of waiting for this single to drop. Something uh, that I'm yeah. sneaking in. Hey, hey, Smokey, how long you been? How long you been uh make, making music? Uh, yeah, for about a year and a half now. Man, what? Get out of here, dude! Only a year and a half. How how much stage time have you had? Uh, I did at least like thirty to forty shows, maybe last year. I went on tour and just fucking just did shows back to back last year, pretty much. So you I don't just have an exact right number, in. but it's like rounding about. You know what I mean? You just, like That's straight awesome. up, basically the same. You just went straight to it, bro. Just yeah, yeah right. basically, so I did damn. my first show January. Back, uh, not last January, but January before that, like I said, at Cody's show. And I just kept going after that, man. Like, I did a few shows at the uh, Wicked Calligraphy Tour with Insane Poetry after oh, that. Dude, he's so fucking good. Shout out Insane Poetry. Shout out everyone on LSP, Scum. For real. Everyone, Cody, everybody, everybody. There's so many people on there. They all rule. But yeah, Insane. Dude, LSP's the motherfucking family, dude. I love them. It is. It is the fucking family, man. It is. And and uh in in saying that guy he has got that, that old school rhythm, dude. Like he's just he just <coughs> drops bars, man. I really fuck with his music. No, so, yeah. Yeah, yeah man. I've, yeah, I've man, that's cool you did that stuff, man. I, I'm I'm really actually I'm pretty impressed, man. You know what I mean? Like Hell yeah. Damn, like you've come this far in that amount of time. I cannot wait to see what you do in another year. You know what I'm saying? Hell like yeah. if you keep that grind on like we're all doing, you know, and I know, yeah. dude, they're, it's unstoppable. You're already playing the stages and shit. So, you know what I Hell mean? Yeah. Like, obviously, people are hearing you. So that's awesome. I'm proud Hell of you. Yeah, man. Fuck yeah, man. I got I got another question. Was right on. At, at at some point during your your career and you've been making the music and doing stuff has there been a point where you've thought you've like not saying like for say like wanted to stop but wanted was there a point of time where you're like you second guessed it or you want you know what i'm saying like is this really like what i should be doing is this the real the real career choice that i should be making or you know what i'm saying like i don't know if i'm saying it correctly but like basically like has like how you had basically enough rider, a, a big ass rider block where you're just like, I don't know, man, I don't know about this. I, I don't know. I, or have you been just balls to the walls? I'm going to make it. I ain't breaking. I'm going, you know what I'm saying? Uh, I mean, like I did have a moment at like the end of the year after like new year's and shit. Like, you know, I got in my head about it maybe for like a week, but like I realized like there's no stopping, you know what I mean? Like, I feel like this shit is my destiny at this point. And if I stop all the work I put in, it would be what for nothing. You know what I'm saying? So I, I can tell myself cool. that like, I didn't want to just waste all my hard work. You know what I'm saying? Like, 
I feel that, dude. I've been there too. Where like I get in ruts and I'm just like, man, I just like can't write anything. Like, and then life mm. gets you get stuck in your life because you've got a lot of things going on, and it's like, right. like sometimes I can't find that piece where I can find where I, my writing and stuff wants to pop back in. You know, because you got to be in the mood for it, man. And oh, yeah, uh, you know what I mean. You got to have the you, you at least for me. And uh, yeah. man, like you know, so. But I think that's what makes makes you strong. Like it, it's it, it's those struggles that those hurdles that you go over and you you keep passing and shit like that that makes you stand out like hella fast, man. Because mm -hmm. it shows shows who's the real people, like who's really there for it. You know what I mean? And right. you know, a lot of people record CDs and stuff, you know, and and they may sound good, but then they don't put the work into it to keep it going and, and stuff. And mm. man, you know, it's not cheap doing what we all do. We all put in a lot of what we've got, you know what I mean? To be able to be on these shows and, and to be able to, you know, travel and everything, you know, <laughs> but it's worth it. I believe it's worth it. Yeah, definitely dude. You're and doing a, a great job. At dude. the end of the day too, when you fucking do a show and you fucking just slaughter that shit, like, it's a good ass feeling, you know what I mean? Oh, when I played the last show, with, <laughs> the last show with Cody and all that, man, I fucking man, I was on cloud nine when I played that shit. I was so happy. The love was in the room, dude. Everyone was freaking having a great time, and I know that is like gonna be nothing compared to freaking what's gonna go down on the freaking 18th, man. Like it's just that yeah, shit's yeah. gonna be fucking wild. <coughs> Hey, uh, Smokey. What's that? How long you been growing your dreads? Uh, almost. <coughs> well, no, 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 almost nine months. Eight months. Yeah, it was eight months on the first. Hell yeah. I missed I technically run. started them when I was on tour with Cody last year, but um, we didn't get time to, like, really work on them, so they were, like, not really there. And then my fucking girl, when I got home, she worked on them, and she got them bitches locking up in, like, weeks Fucking crocheted them bitches every day till the yeah. bitches got tight. That's what you gotta do, homie. That's what you gotta do. Like, and it, now it's I'm a finally lot of work. To crochet my own dreads because usually she has to, or she had to do it for me. So like, and then eventually I'm like, fuck it, I'm gonna learn that shit. You know, Might as I can well. show you how to do it, man. You'll be on the road with us and shit like that, man. And you know, when you be at shows yeah. and shit, and you're like flinging your shit around, you gotta like fucking tighten your shit up all the time because. You be going oh, yeah. all hard and shit, fucking. Uh, but I know how to do that shit. Yeah, yeah. I'm That's getting better I'm, at doing it. I, I learned recently how to do it, but the hardest, the hardest part is getting them started, man. But yeah, they're already locked up. So I just sometimes I just get lazy and let them do their thing for a couple weeks, you know, and then I fucking work on them a little bit. Right. I fucking dyed these bitches blue like a week ago, and these bitches like. <laughs> that did not last. <laughs> hey, what is right now on uh, all the music that you dropped? What do you think? Oh, uh, no, sorry. What is your favorite song right now out of the music that I just got a couple questions? What is your favorite song that you dropped so far? Probably Floozies off of my new album. Um, is Ooh. that also one of the popular songs? Do you think what is also your that you've noticed is your your stepping stone to where from where you know, like where you've noticed you're like, man, this, 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 this is where I upgraded. This is where I leveled up right here. This is my level. Probably up. Big Lit. Big Lit was like probably the first song that I wrote that I was actually impressed with. Cause in the beginning, dude, I was like my own worst critic, bro. I did not like anything I was doing. Other people were like, this shit's hard. And I'm like, eh, it's okay. You know what I, I mean? I feel that. I feel that. <laughs> but also, then I, I, oh. I made Big Lit and I'm like, dude, like, okay. Like, you know, was there was there any songs that you made that you uh that you made and went through that you probably like regret uh, or not even regret, just feel like man, I probably shouldn't have done that or you well, know, probably when I first started, bro, I like had to teach myself like to spit better. So like I was just like recording my shit on this app called Velaco and throwing <laughs> it on SoundCloud and bro. No. This shit I had on there was so whack, bro. I deleted all my old shit off SoundCloud, but I got it on my phone files, and I'd be listening to it sometimes, it's like showing my girl, and I'm like, "Is your SoundCloud still going? Is your is that SoundCloud uh, still available?" 
I mean, the SoundCloud no. is, but the songs ain't. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he's ready to leave that shit, dude. Yeah. <laughs> yeah How about bro. this, man? Do you have a song do you that you think of yours that the crowd reacts? Like, what's one of the most like uh, requested songs that you play that 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 people Probably ask? Probably get smoked. Get smoked. Like, I don't even play that song anymore. And every time I'm at shows, people are like, "Are you gonna play Get Smoked, bro?" And I'm like, "Not today." Like. <laughs> Bro, I like to that, switch my set that's list the up fam calling to you, I like man. performing new shit. Yeah, but you might need to throw that in there, boy. The fam, the fam likes that old shit. They like that that underground, man. You throw it in in one of your longer sets one day, and I bet you you see one of those some of your OGs like go ham, dude. <laughs> oh, bro, yeah, that song gets the people going, dude. That song is hype as hell. Hell yeah, y'all know y'all heard it. <coughs> yeah, yeah, man. Double yeah, time. I it. Uh, where, where do you see yourself in about let's say five years? Uh, hopefully, fucking killing it, fucking getting good money off this shit, fucking making this a full time job. You know? Uh, are you? Uh, do you be uh hitting the studio and shit, or do you be doing like how? How do you record your music and, and all that shit? I go to the studio. Uh, like I said, Trey Pound mix and masters my shit. For everything. Yeah, I go to Trey Pound for everything, pretty much. That's what's That's up. Dope. Shout out Trey Pound. Yeah, yeah Trey, Trey Pound, Pound's the man. for real. And uh, before you did that, you were doing when you were doing your SoundCloud shit. You're doing most of your shit like at home on your phone. Yeah, pretty much. Pair of fucking iPhone headphones and an iPhone Seven, just recording a bunch of shit through an app. Hell yeah! Not knowing the fuck what I'm doing, but I was like, hey, fuck it. But it made me better. You know what I mean? The more. I put out oh, yeah. the better I wanted it to sound every time, and then just yeah, 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 yeah it molded man. me. Oh man, I don't even want to share you guys my shit from back in the day. <laughs> it's fucking yo, I did it. I've done everything, man. You know what I mean? And like fucking some of my old stuff, man. Like especially the first time I I like tried to spit and stuff, man. Like wow, it's bad. <laughs> it's so bad, dude. That was my shit, bro. My shit's so crazy. <laughs> But when I was doing it, dude, I was going so hard. And dude, then I heard me. it and I was like, <laughs> dude, you know what I mean? Like, you got to trip before you, you know what I'm saying? You got to, you got to learn to walk. You know what I mean? It all, mm -hmm. it all comes together. Definitely. Yeah, yeah. with Definitely. You picked it up and man, like you've moved really far in a short amount of time. I know you've done music for a, a while, but since you started taking it seriously and stuff like that, you've mm -hmm. really like made moves, man. That's pretty cool. You yeah, know, yeah. you played with some really, really, really good people. And I seen mm -hmm. videos of in pictures of you two with Violent J not long ago, man, which is pretty dope, man. How was it? How was it meeting the Duke the other day, man? It was pretty lit. Um, but actually, the first time I met him, um was the Super Gathering infomercial. I don't know if y'all have seen that, but if you check out the Super Gathering infomercial, I mm -hmm. play as a prisoner with my boy, uh, Michael Santiago from Chicago. I don't know if y'all know him. Um, but we're in I don't, video but with shout out to him. Whoop, whoop. And um, the super villains come and save us and shit. So I got to chill at Psychopathic Records for like 12 hours, ate Coney oh. Island with the clowns and shit. Like it was sick. That's like, so you, awesome. If you go on YouTube, you could find that shit. That shit's so corny, but it's lit. Like that's people not, at the gathering still know me. You're the man. infomercial guy, lit. the prisoner guy. Well, like, here's your channel, little link. Boom. Down below is Smokey the Bear's little channel. Hey. Yeah, it's, it's a weird little letters, but he that's his URL thing. <laughs> weird little letters there. Yeah, but uh, yeah, bro. I just I subscribed to your shit. You got yep, so did I. subscribers yeah, and yeah. shit. And yeah, and you're like well, you got that. Let me set this premiere. Everybody, set your premiere. Premiere oh, yeah, for the Blabbermouth music video. Yep, I said I just I set that premiere. Hell yeah! Next Friday, I'm excited. Like y'all are gonna love this video. This video is sick as hell. I, I definitely I like that riot. I definitely fucked with that when I watched that in the uh when we were hanging out in the uh motel, bro. That Hell yeah. And, uh, you said you said you shot that in the, um all one night in the just the uh yeah my wife my wife uh filmed it and I edited it. um 
Yeah, and a, there's like an abandoned cemetery like five minutes down the road from our house. So I was like, fuck it. I'm going to shoot a music video here. I think it's imperative that everyone does a video in a cemetery. My first video was in a cemetery. <laughs> <laughs> bro, I had to, bro. There's that tombstone in that cemetery that says Savage. And I'm like, bro, I'm definitely filming <laughs> oh, a video here. Dude. Yeah, that's 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 the actual uh, um, um, I intro hope that image. person that is is below is a was a savage motherfucker dude like a dope savage motherfucker too i right. like he owned that name <laughs> he's dope. still feeling like a savage his ass is watching from the dead he's like man this motherfucker right. making a like, sick ass video like bouncing around above me man they're coming to my tombstone smoking blunts fucking throwing down right. right and doing it. i got the I, red that's dope. right and shit shit um, let's see. Any more? Let's see. Let's see. Got some more questions. Got to ask his ass. Any more on that list that that you got that we didn't get yet? Um, I went through pretty much everything that I had. Um, what like uh like I don't know. I don't think I asked you this one, man. But do you have like like what's one of what's what's like what's your top five influences, man? I want to hear what your top five is, man. Like, of people that, that it doesn't have to be that your top five of all time. Just like, what are the top like five people you've been bumping lately? Like music. Yeah, like um, what? What have you been feeling lately? Like, what's been inspiring you? Um, and it doesn't matter lot, what it is. I've been I listen listening to, to a lot of Ouija. Um, I don't know if y'all ever heard of Inkabod Veins. I just started listening to him. I'll check him out. I never heard of that. Pretty sick. Hell yeah. Um, ICP. I listen to Cody all the time. You know, definitely. definitely. Fucking Cody showed me a lot of the ropes and shit. Like, that's homie right there. He lifted me up too, man. He's the reason. Like, I got lived. He told me, man. He said he fucked with me, and I, I threw down out there, and he said he wanted to help lift me up, and that's all he's done, man. I, I got mad love for the homie, man. It'd be good to see him again. Hell yeah. But that's cool, yeah. So, how many was that? That was that's three, three. Okay, you got two more. What's the last two? And then you know, I've been bumping a lot of Suicide Boys lately too. And Fuck like, yes! Like their fucking new shit's pretty hard too. We just went and seen them in Chicago back in October. That was sick. Yeah, I'm glad. It's good to see them. Like they they took a break and they needed it, and then they came back like so hard, man. Like it's awesome. Hell uh, yeah. And then um, I've been bumping a lot of. Um, I don't know if you ever listen to Scumbag Fred, but that's also my homie. We're supposed to I be met him in Texas. Too. Oh yeah, man, we, now I feel left out because now I have to check this guy. If you're both like saying he's dope, bro, we both came from the same city. Like, um, I was living in Belleville, Michigan, a couple of years ago, and I lived there for a minute. And we like he he's been he's been doing music for like 15 years. He grew up out in Belleville and shit. You know what I mean? And like I've knew I've known him since 2017, and um yeah his shit's pretty hard. We're supposed to be co-headlining in Texas at the Zombie Bar in Arm Armorillo, Texas, I think. Wow, hell yeah! See, you're still going into it, boy. You moving? You don't live nowhere near yeah. Texas. Yeah, that's April 18th. Right. Oh well, then I'll be there. So yeah. So much crazy shit. Everybody, we all got so much crazy shit happening. It's yeah, crazy. I can't even tell. Like. I remember somebody asked me the other day. They were like, "I, I don't. I may have been coon, but like, he um. So I was asked. They were like, you know, hey, I'd like to get you to like do a show somewhere, and I'm like, I don't know if I can book right now, dude. <laughs> like, I don't even know if I can book at the moment <laughs> because, like, there's stuff that's getting ready to pop off. You know what I mean? That like that people will find out about in the future, man. But like, you know what I mean? Like, I'm not trying to like double book nothing. I have to cancel out on anybody. So right, I feel I'm that. glad we're doing these runs in between and somewhere in between, I'm going to release another EP, man. Somewhere. Yeah. I don't know. Hell yeah. I can't wait, man. That other EP you made or uh, album. Oh, dude, was sick. Wait till you, you were talking about your stuff getting stronger, man. I went so hard in the studio the other night. I finished two songs. Me and my son went in there. We destroyed two songs and the recording like unmixed, bro. I worked so hard on my vocals on that man, doing the doubles and making like, Hell there's yeah. no, they're like, 
there's no fuckery in my music. You know what I mean? Like I, I I'm a singer and stuff too. So like, I'm really a stickler in, in my, my producer is too. And mm-hmm. uh, shout out Scott gross and uh, Chris Wood at bomb shelter studios in York. But like uh, they, they make sure like, so when I did my doubles, they had to be perfect. You know what I mean? There's no like mm-hmm. just cut and pasting. Like I did all my doubles and triples and like whatever to get all right. And man, it sounds amazing. I cannot, I, and I'm probably going to be performing. It's going to be, I'll probably be performing it on the 18th. It's called tracks to trap too. So I'm excited. Yeah, yeah, for bro, that I can't out. Yeah. It'll be coming out. Should be out. It hopefully by the 20th of this month, I'd like to get it out sooner. But it all depends on, you know, I kind of rushed my producers and shit. Like, I need this now. I'm getting ready to go on tour and I don't have fucking time to do. You know what I mean? Like, you know, Dude. trying to get get my cards together. It's it's definitely hard to get your, uh, I just like, well, I just did my second tour um, mm-hmm. ever. And I, I say is tour is life is fun. And it's, it, it's legit. All I got to say is, is I got to learn how to plan my merchandise uh buying he- properly but it, it definitely was lit it yeah was- making sure you have enough product and everything yeah there's a lot that like people don't realize there's a lot that goes into it man you know and time and money yeah. And oh yeah stuff. yeah you know you oh, know what shit. i mean like everything goes back into everything and like you know but I think it's all for the best. Like I said, like it's, it's an honor for like me to be working with like musicians like you got you and then be sponsored by my homie here, man. And be part of like the wicked threads, oh, yeah. crust, crust gang up in the house. Wait, is it backwards? Yeah, crust can, y'all be killing that shit out there too, man. Like we get it, those, bro. We get it, I'm excited about this those show unicorn the unicorn charms, man. This show is gonna be sick at Carl's. But we we I got one of those from, from oh dude, yes, it's gonna be crazy, man. And it's gonna be a little things. weird for me because it's just gonna be me. I'm not I'm not my son's not gonna be there for that night. So I'm gonna be up there double, but I'm gonna throw down nonetheless, man. I can it's still gonna be fire. Yeah, but yeah. uh uh you'll be seeing more of him around too. Everything will be cool. Yeah, Everything's yeah. gonna be fire. We're ready, man. Ready to fucking go, but yeah, I'm I'm excited. You you're gonna be playing some new shit on on your set, man. Um, uh, I'm, I'm gonna be playing a couple of new songs that I played on the Ouija tour. Good, good, man. Because I heard you, you got, did a really good job. So you got uh uh, are you are you making a special set? Like, is there something like is it or is it or a set that we've already heard before? Um, it's gonna be similar to the one I played at the Ouija show, but I just wrote this song the other day called Gang Shit. If I get to the studio in time, I'm going to fucking probably throw that on my set list. So I might even yeah. just do it with the instrumental, depending on how I feel. But this song, song's literally some gang shit. Dude, that's like, we're all fucking, <laughs> I said it the other day. I was like, we're going to ruin it. <laughs> we're putting the gang back into the gang. <laughs> Real shit, bro. Dude, because, you know what I mean? We're all so tight, man. Like, both our crews, he, both of you being Tribe Life, I'm Cross Gang. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, we're yeah. all like brothers, man. You know what I mean? We all run with the same crew. And, like, you know, we all have, we all have different talents. Yeah, Everyone yeah. sounds different. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Everyone has like even the way Coon moves over here, man, with Wicked Threads, man, he moves different than other other uh like people that build, you know, their their design and and their their stuff, man. You know, he is mm-hmm. he, he he's into everything. You know what I mean? You have no idea, dude. You know what I do? You can literally decorate mm-hmm. your fucking house, dude. With wicked threads, <laughs> with wicked stuff, threads. yes, I'm and sorry. and I can you help can you decorate drink. your body as Yo. well, so you'll never be cold. You'll never fucking, you know what I mean. You 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 always have that wicked swag, and it's fucking affordable, which is dope, man. I think it's cool the way he, that everyone in the in our like circle moves differently, but like you know, like whether it's musically and whatnot, like we're all fresh to the scene with things, you know. We're not yeah, throwing we're, that and we're same all some old, same old motherfuckers, like in yeah. all kind of ways. Yeah, we're all fucking, <laughs> we're all a fucking wreck. <laughs> like, but dude, we all throw the fuck down, man. I fucking love it, man. Oh yeah, it's all some straight fam shit for real. 
Facts, facts. Big facts. So, Smokey, is, is do you want to? Uh, is there anything? We're coming up on an hour, so I want to yeah. know if there's anything that you want to like, anything that you want to uh, tap in and say that we have not talked about. You could literally do like, like let these motherfuckers know about you. You anything you want to like let these motherfuckers know. You can just all your links say all you say what you gotta say, bro. Let these motherfuckers know who the fuck Smokey the Bear. We've already told we already told us some shit, but who is Smokey the Bear? Real, Motherfucker, Smokey the Bear, get smoked, bitch. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> real shit. Like, I'm on all platforms. Fucking Smokey the Bear, no space. You already know. Fucking just doing my thing. New album, Blabbermouth is in, insanely yeah, good. Yeah, Blabbermouth. Yeah, you gotta, you like gotta get said, that. You I gotta can't get wait for that. y'all to hear this big lit pimp shit because I got my fucking. Good ass set list on that. I got the fucking homie Bobby Cray on that album with me. Oh, Bobby's the fucking man. Dude, yeah, Bobby's the homie. Yeah, he fucking is so talented. Yeah, next time me and him do a show together, I'm going to try and uh, do that song, too, that we got together. It's called Pull Up, Bro, but this shit is sick as fuck. Like, it, sound, it sounds sick as fuck, man. Just the fact that the two of you and then the name is Pull Up, man. It sounds like some straight... Yeah, Thuggalo yeah. shit. And then fucking um, like I said, next Friday's my fucking music video for Blabbermouth. You don't want to miss that shit because that shit set is straight gangers. Set those reminders on his YouTube. Don't forget. Yeah, set them fucking yeah. little bells or whatever the fuck the reminder do you is have, on YouTube. Do you have it like set where people can go and like you know click the click the link for Definitely. the upcoming video? That's how it is, yeah. Yeah, it's on my Facebook page. Awesome. It's on my Instagram. All right, so everyone needs to go and follow that link and click on it. I, that's right, you put it up early. So, yeah, yeah everyone go yeah. and follow that link that's in the in the chat earlier and uh, click on that, man. So, you know, it matters, like, for real. You know, the more, the more people support us and whatnot, you know what I'm saying, the more mm -hmm. we can give back, and that's what we're planning on doing. We're, we're just planning on, you know, all of us are just putting it down, you know what I mean? Right. So let's go. You know what I mean? Let's do yeah, this. Yeah, it's just fucking crazy as fuck, bro. Yeah, it's um, not. Yeah, fucking uh so much shit happening. Is are you uh you got any upcoming things you're working with? Any like special artists that like that's not like do you have anything that you're about to be doing that's not like within like tri fly, that's not within crest game, like you know what I'm saying? You got some shit coming up that you plan on doing with some uh I know you do some shit recently with Fro, you know what I'm saying? Oh. Um, do you, you plan on doing some like more shit with other people? Uh, yeah, I was trying to. I'm supposed to be doing a track or a few tracks. Me and Scumbag Fred are about talking about doing some more, and I'm trying to get a song with IP. We talked about it. I just, I, I when the time comes, I want to make sure I write the right song for it. You know what I'm saying? Like if I'm having IP on the track, it's got to be damn near perfect. Mm -hmm. So like shit like that I got, but yeah. Well, yeah, that's what's up, bro. So doing Taco Bell, managing Taco Bell, making fire ass music, rolling up the ass on the stage, bro. You're doing it, bro. You know, what yeah, I'm saying? dude. Like, bro, it's fucking up. winning, dude. Blunts, bro. Triple, triple that triple grape. Don't sleep on that triple grape. I, sleep. I already know I see that shit. I, know. <laughs> I just smoked me a triple grape blunt. Always, yeah. always. You already know. Gotta collect them barcodes too, bro. Hey, I just put my order in. <laughs> I, I got my I got my hoodie, my patches on the way. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> my dude, my dude literally fucking was been talking about this shit for a grip. He's been like, yo, bro, and he's like going on tour and shit. He's got like cartons of these motherfuckers he's like i got all this and i got all the barcodes and i'm gonna get this fast shit so to hear that you fucking got, got it, it. Dope. i fucking <laughs> get it bro and i still Hell got yeah. enough points that i'm gonna save up and go buy like go buy all the cheap shit like because i already got what i wanted so now i'm just gonna go on there later and just buy like the rolling tray, the socks, the, the shot glasses, just all the cheap shit real That's quick. What I'm, trying, I'm trying to get all that shit. 
Yeah, just all of it real quick. Just five years. Okay. Yeah, because like, bro, they had just started the point system. Just fucking started. It so only on these swirls right now. The, um, the, the, so the, the look, s'mores one is fucking awesome. Yeah, they're only on the swirls because they just released this points. Also, uh, if you go on the white out, they have the actual on the site that tell you the new release that they're going to be releasing another flavor. You know what I'm saying? So they're going to be on all the flavors. They're doing the point system now, so that's going to be fucking crazy as fuck. Oh, yeah. I mean, that's yeah. a good idea. You know, I'm, I'm happy they fucking did because I love it, bro. I, I'm not going to lie. I was going to get the gray hoodie, but I ain't going to cap. I bought the black hoodie because... I, it was less points, but I still get the point across. It was a white out hoodie and has the fucking like the a warning label still on it. And I'm gonna patch it the fuck out. So I was like, I'm gonna get a black. Maybe. We gotta, we gotta get some fucking wicked wraps, man. Get some fucking wicked. <laughs> I want to make papers. Man. I already thought it, I, I want to make. Gotta papers. tap into that shit, dude. <laughs> That'll be sick. I want to do some, some shit. Brand some like fucking, motherfucker. That'd be Brand. dope, man. <laughs> But yeah, dude. Fuck yeah. It's just crazy. Well, we're almost to an hour. Yeah. So we'll probably be uh ending it real, real soon. So if if that's if you got everything you wanted to say, anything anything else you wanted to tap in, this is the time. Uh this is the uh first episode of Crest Gas Conversations. Yeah. It's we can been- go through and we can go lit. through and all say like an ending thing real quick here, man. Give everyone a little platform to say the last little bits, and then I wish everyone a good evening. Hell yeah. Well, uh, this is Crosscast Conversations, episode one with Smokey the Bear, Michael hey. Wallace, and Wicked Threads. Bro, this has been a hell of a fucking night, and we're going to continue on doing this shit. So we hope we can get you back on here, bro, in the future. That would be cool. And oh, we, bro, I'm down. We'll be more, you already we'll know. Be more organized, more questions. Also, we're going to promote this harder to where the people are going to be asking. Uh, like, people are going to be live. We're going to, we're not, we're not doing it live yet, but eventually there are going to be people live. We're going to be, there's going to be more questions, more questions. Yeah, people don't know no, about yeah. it yet. We wanted to bring somebody on special that we fuck with on the first, man, since it's, since you're also part of the first show. The first official crust cast show on the 18th. Yes. So. Hell yeah. good, bro. Appreciate y'all having me on. Hope everybody has a good ass night and shit. You y'all too. get fucking stoned. You already know the deal. Already yeah. stoned. <laughs> we'll get more stoned. Don't get more stony. I'm going to keep going. Keep on going. I'm going to muscle through it. Like it's hard. Like <laughs> well, shit. <laughs> All right. You guys, it was good. It was good having a chat with you, bro. CCC conversations lit. Until then, yeah. Yeah, Much love. Whoop 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 whoop. Cross gang. Trife life.